Google's own AI researchers have quietly shifted 78% of their projects from TensorFlow to JAX, while PyTorch dominates academia. So if you're trying to figure out which deep learning framework to pick for your next big project, then you have three contenders. And if we look closely, we can see TensorFlow and JAX are siblings because Google Brain open sourced TensorFlow in 2015, while in 2018, Google Research introduced JAX to the world. Then there is PyTorch, a smart kid by Meta. So which one is right for your project? If you ask me, I will rank them this way in terms of usability. Because in PyTorch, debugging feels easy and tutorials are everywhere. Like everyone on the planet knows PyTorch. Then TensorFlow is a bit heavy for first timers. But once you get the hang of it, with Keras, it's easy, like debugging a memory leak in C. And I will not pick Jax as a beginner. But once I have enough knowledge of ML, then it's a choice, because Jax is a Usain Bolt for deep learning with just-in-time compilation and accelerated linear algebra. It's 4 to 5x faster in some cases, and your GPU will thank you. The big reason behind this GPU optimization is because Google Brain has collaborated with NVIDIA to create Jax. If I have to pick one favorite feature from each framework, I will go for the just-in-time capabilities of Jax, the pipeline architecture from TensorFlow, and the PyTorch dynamic computation graph approach. So each one has something to offer. Now let's talk money. Frankly speaking, it doesn't matter which framework you use. The main thing that matters is your conceptual clarity on machine learning algorithms. Very few non-technical companies ask for framework-specific candidates, so there will be a job for you titled machine learning engineer, not tens touch developer. But if you want to know which has the highest possibility for you to get a job, then we should look for companies adopting it. And this might shock you because in 2021, there are the highest numbers of models deployed on Hugging Face. And among them, 92% of models were built using PyTorch. While Google, Uber, and Airbnb, like stable and trusted giants, use TensorFlow, but Google is slowly shifting their tiers towards Jax. And not only Google, but also DeepMind announced in 2020 that they were using Jax to accelerate their research. In this announcement, they also give an overview of their Jax ecosystem, most notably Haiku, their Jax-based neural network library. So in adoption, PyTorch tops the list with companies like Meta, OpenAI, and Tesla. Not only this, but also a big number of solo developers as well. Then, TensorFlow is used by many big and small companies, but the adoption rate is declining, and guess whose adoption rate is increasing? Yes, you guessed it right, children in an orphanage home. Now, if we see it from a research perspective, data from research journals shows that from 2017 to 2021, new PyTorch research publications have gone from 7% to 80% of papers that use either PyTorch or TensorFlow. This means eight out of 10 publications are including PyTorch, which used to be less in the beginning. If you're a beginner and have less time, go with PyTorch. But if you have to work directly on production and deployment, then TensorFlow it is. And when there will be a right time, Jax will choose you. Thanks for watching, you beautiful minds. Remember, the best framework always makes you cry.